You know, it's not easy being the trendsetter, and it's not. And here in Chicago for StarCast 2018, and how can I have a terrible day when standing right next to me is the lovely, the beautiful, <laughs> the ever so talkative Rosa Mendez. Rosa, <laughs> how are you doing today? How are you enjoying the events and the festivities of StarCast? Well, I love it because there's so many people here from all over the world. Like, people traveled from Italy, France, I met someone from Japan, like... So it, there's a lot of... This is the place to be, everybody. If you're not here, you're missing out, okay? Yeah, and I'm the luckiest guy in the world right Aww. now, so envy me, guys. Yes, envy, envy the trends. Envy him. Uh, first thing i got to ask you, too, is obviously how you're doing. How are you feeling physically? I know uh, you dealt with a little injury now. you got not surgery coming injury. up. Not a little injury. It's a big injury. Uh, the worst... I'm trying worst, to tone it down a little bit, yes, but yeah. The worst letters to hear t- for an athlete is ACL. I thought I w- had a torn meniscus. I still wrestled on it. And it kept coming out of the socket and really painful. And then I, I kept going in the ring because I'm crazy and I'm passionate. And I was like, maybe I should go see a doctor. So I went to the world famous Bradley James, uh, Dr. Bradley, sorry, James Bradley. Yes. And he's like, you have a torn ACL. It's totally torn off. And I was like, what? And so eight months, uh, my recovery, I won't be able to get back in the ring for eight months. But I'm still going to be heavily involved with wrestling. Um, I'm still going to do like mental reps and talk about movesets and work Mm -hmm. on my character and um it's not this door isn't closed like now i'm going to come back stronger than ever and i'm not this isn't going to derail me from my dream whatsoever was it something a freak accident was it something you just did those very simplistic they do time and time again because that's when you usually say most of the injuries happen it was actually a really cool move so it was like a high flying type of move and i i wanted to get it crisp because the new Milena Roca coming back is going to be an in-ring technician. So everything that I do has to be crisp and perfect. And so I kept doing this move over and over. I'm like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And by the 33rd time, and me being exhausted, I had changed two shirts, sweaty shirts already. So I was just drained. And I had done down legs earlier. My knee went. And so, and I went, I said the F word really loud. You can say it here if you want. Okay. Fuck. She said fuck. Exactly. Yeah, I'm she, a mom. She's loud on a lot of things. I'm like, can but... I say fuck? <laughs> but speaking of that, though, in terms of being a mom, too, ha, ha, you know, I always ask this question when anybody becomes a new parent, though, has, has priorities changed in your life now? I mean, clearly they have because things that probably were important or things that you stressed about before aren't as important now, right? I'm trying to give my daughter the best life possible, and so I'm really working really hard on my lifestyle brand, Totally Fit Mama, www.tfmama.com. So I'm working on my businesses, I'm working on wrestling, and so I'm a lot, I've, I was always driven, but I'm way more driven now because I need to work to give her the best life. And I also want to show her that being an empowered woman means a lot, and that I don't want her to think she could just get by with her looks. Like, now there's this huge women empowerment movement, and so I want her to watch her mom work super hard and be super independent, and that means everything to me, so. Do you feel a sense of pride, the fact that we have this whole women's revolution, the evolution event's going to happen to you? You were were a part of that. You were part of that whole brand that kind of built up to this. So a sense of pride, maybe a sense of, you know, feeling, uh, you know, you kind of helped that path for everybody else that's enjoying it right now? Thank you so much for saying that because a lot of fans have ridiculed me for being just a hot, pretty face and uh, like moving my hips on TV, but they don't know that I spent years in developmental and I worked my butt off and I've traveled just like everybody else and I'm ridiculed for stealing money for 10 years. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, that's bull crap. Like I worked really hard and I love wrestling. I, even if I was a multi-billionaire, I would still be in wrestling because I don't do it for the money. I do it because I love it. And I'm showing everybody that now. No one thought I would ever do independence. I'm like, of course I'm going to do independence. I can be myself. I can work on stuff I want to work on. And I, I love it. More freedom. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. Th- nobody will ever question your passion for this business. And speaking of passion, it's kind of a reason why this whole thing's been set up. You talk about Cody, the Young Bucks, putting money mm-hmm. in of their own pockets to develop this, which sold in under 30 minutes with no card set up in the beginning. And now everybody's here to enjoy the festivities, much like yourself. Mm-hmm. So for you, what would be the, you know, the historical factor everybody talks about? about this event, meaning that, you know, although WWE may be a goal for some, uh, some are realistic thinking, I'm not going to reach there, but there's so many more avenues right now in terms of promotions out there and ways of distributing your content to make yourself a household name. So do you feel right now that the business has changed for events like this, and this is kind of like the staple of what the evolution of professional wrestling is going to be? Yes, absolutely. Like, I'm going to be able to wrestle and, and work my butt off and look like a super athlete, and my daughter will be able to watch tapes of me, whether it's in WWE or not in WWE, and in ROH, maybe. You know what I mean? That would be amazing. Oh, I'd like to see that. Win- I just finished talking to Mandy Leon. I could see yes. that rim- Women of Honor Championship I, around your waist, that's too. That's a dream. I want to get signed with ROH so bad. Like, I 
went to one of their shows for the first time and I literally had, I was front row. They're like, do you want to sit with the talent? I go, no, I want to sit front row, okay? I literally had my mouth open. I was like, this show is insane and I loved it. I was like, this is my new goal. I want to get signed with ROH and so that is on my vision board right now. So yeah, I, I want to show, I want my daughter to watch back when she's older and be like, my mom was a really respected athlete. She wasn't that girl that wiggled her hips in the ring. So, And mom kicked butt too. Yeah, exactly. She kicked butt in the ring. Uh, I want to thank you for recognizing, like for what you just said. That means a lot to me. I can tell that you're very passionate about wrestling and the fact that you recognize that uh, about this event and what the guys did for this event, um, that means a lot. So, uh, And also your work ethic too. I mean, for me, I've always made it known that it takes a special individual mm -hmm. to get in that ring and do what you do. I know I couldn't do it. And people have said, I should get in the ring, but like, there's no yeah, way. I'll leave I it to your, you guys. Your heart is the, amazing. Yeah, we live vicariously through you. Mm -hmm. So one, well, two more final things from me real quick is that, speaking of the historical event, as a fan, we said this event got sold out in 30 minutes and no match was out there. Now you see the match card out there. If you were a fan, you are a fan yourself, and you had to sit back and watch one particular match saying, I need to see this match because I can't miss it, what match would it be on this card? Well, of course it's going to be my best friend, Britt Baker, is wrestling. Mm-hmm. And um, I just, I cannot wait to see her in that ring. It's like, she, she's a big inspiration to me. I, when I first got back in the ring after my pregnancy, mm -hmm. I trained with her, and she was so good. I told her, you are going to be the biggest star ever. And she, did, she was so humble. Like, doesn't, she's like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, you are going to be a huge star. And watch everyone. Britt Baker is going to be one of the biggest things out there. She is a dentist. And she, there's another person that has passion. She doesn't yeah. have to do this. And she makes a lot of money being a dentist. Yeah. And she wrestles and gives her heart and soul in that ring. And so I, there's, she has a really big future, and I cannot wait to see that. And I cannot wait to work with her. Be on the lookout for her. Be on the lookout for this one right here, too. One final one for me as we wrap up here in StarCast. Obviously, when I, when I see you, I think, guys, stunning. You're so Thank stunning. You. You, you look, you look tremendously you. physically, but when you go to conventions like this, it might be hard to kind of eat the right foods and get that workout in you want. But besides all that, let's say it's a cheat day. Have you had a chance here in Chicago to have some deep dish pizza? Not yet, but I'm going to attack a deep dish pizza. I'm going to devour. I'm going to have cheese falling out of my face, okay? Watch. You can tape it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's an event to watch right yes. there. I'm sure people will pay money to see that. Oh, I'm getting tattooed later, too, if you want to watch that. Now. We can see that on Fight TV. And it, might, yes. it might be available on the app, so you guys can watch that. Yeah. Rewind that demand. Definitely pick it out. Rose, thank you so much. Yes, Greatly appreciate you. your time. Yes. Here we are at StarCast 2018 High Spot Podcast, Adventure with the Trendsetter. I bid you guys adieu.